Now, in order to account nuclear stability, there are certain other factors also, like uh, magic number, then even and odd rule, like that. But uh, we are not going right now these things in detail because we are focusing on another aspect that is what if nucleus is unstable say till here we discuss about nuclear stability and now we are switching over to the concept what if nucleus is unstable say first try to get meaning what is the meaning that nucleus is unstable it should not that all particles of nucleus that is nucleons get separated out but few of them are leaving out nucleus that is called as nuclear instability particularly till atomic number 82 and in very rare case atomic number 83 elements are stable beyond that number elements become unstable and they start emitting out certain particles from nucleus we have to discuss that too. this is called as radioactivity of element so here we are focusing on topic that is radioactivity where henry beckwerrell is the name of scientist who discovered this phenomena that is radioactivity he discovered that from salts of uranium and later he and madam mary curie concluded that these radiations are coming out from nucleus of an uranium atom only not from any other part but from uranus uh, uranium they start uh, uh, the radiations are emitted out later on they discovered the nature of radiation now keep in mind uh, i want to just uh, clarify again some part what is radioactivity the element like uh, uranium is emitting out certain invisible radiations these radiations invisible radiations they are emitted by uranium they are called as radioactivity now keep in mind uh, these radiations as i have explained they are invisible so don't imagine that uh, substance must glow in dark that is different property here various invisible radiations are emitted by this type of atom uh, and they are called as uh, radioactivity now these invisible radiations are particularly emitted from nucleus of an atom because rate of radioactivity is not affected by heat by pressure by electric current any other phenomena and therefore it is concluded in initial stage that these radiations are coming out from that part of atom which remains unaffected by all this that is heat then light etc now it is clear that these radiations are coming out from nucleus because keep in mind when these discoveries were going on that is 1896 onwards uh, scientists were not aware about atomic structure atomic structure were discovered in much later phase and now it is clear that these radiations are coming out from nucleus so in short uh, we have to revise again elements particularly heavy elements like uranium are emitting out certain radiations invisible radiations from nucleus of an atom this radiation emission is called as radioactivity initially it was discovered from uranium a uh, name of scientist henry beckwerrell and later on madame curie worked on the principle and now uh, we are aware that if atomic number of element is greater than 82 then elements are showing radioactivity they are naturally radioactive element now scientists carried out certain experiments uh, say for example uh, this is the experiment uh, keep in mind i am showing here schematic diagram it is not necessary actually this diagram is there i am just showing you schematically uh, as these radiations are invisible we have to detect what is the nature of this radiation and so they carried out this type of experiment this is a lead box why lead atomic number 82 the dense metal thick sheet of lead is able to stop this radiation whatever the radiations are emitted here they are having very high penetration power 
and therefore we have to place this radiation in thick lead box where uh, here i am showing somewhat bigger hole practically it is called as capillary a fine hole is there and then there is place where we can place out radioactive substance so radioactive substance is placed over here i am showing in red color this is radioactive substance placed over here then we are applying here electrical field this is positive plate this is negative plate then there is photographic plate here now from side this looks like line but practically it is photographic plate this entire assembly is kept in evacuated chamber to vacuum pump this entire assembly is kept in evacuated chamber and obviously in dark because we have to check the effect on photographic plate what is photographic plate now we have various digital and electronic instrument for photography say for example in modern days many cameras are having ccd that is charged coupled device in order to get light in old days we were using film that is camera roll was there and from that we can carry out photography in even older days they were using glass plate which is coated with photosensitive material like silver nitrate silver bromide etc so these plates were coated by this type of photosensitive material and these plates are kept in thick paper black color paper so that they can be protected from light now here these plates are now exposed and we have to keep this assembly for longer period keep in mind i am not able to observe any radiation coming out from here as i am showing okay but i have to guess now say after certain period i have removed this photographic plate now this is photographic plate this is positive part of photographic and negative say photographic plate is not positive and negatively charged positive side is this so i am indicating here and negative side is this so i am indicating here so here it was negative electrode we are calling that as cathode and here it is positive we are calling that as anode now uh this is simple schematic representation we got a dot at center that means certain radiations travel in straight line direction here so most probably this way now my drawing is not perfect you have to imagine this is straight line so certain radiations traveled in straight line so we are getting dot at center then we got another dot here at positive side uh negative side but which is having obviously uh attracted so this is positive charge so they termed this as alpha part of radiation so here i had to show this type of radiation must at attracted towards negative plate and so they changed out their path then i got another dot here which is towards positive side that means there are negatively charged radiation and they are here something like that so these radiations are termed as beta whereas these radiations unaffected they are termed as gamma radiation so here we can show this way that radiation stream coming out here the radiations which move towards negative plate they must have positive charge so they are called as alpha negative plate uh, sorry the radiation which move towards positive plate they must have negative charge so they are termed as beta whereas certain radiations they are unaffected by electrical field so they are called as gamma radiation so initially this uh, we have to keep in mind three radiations are emitted three types of radiations rather are emitted by this type of radioactive material now